to see that old girlfriend of yours last night. <laughs> Good and bad news. Yeah, it was on the dailies today. Uh, somebody just died this morning. Who's that? Who and it's you. My name is Cross, and that's me in my car, shot on my best day. I own nine bank accounts with no less than $2 million in each offshore. I do not have any investment and don't want to be bothered. I'm a rich man by all standard and have people within and outside the country working for me. Politicians fear me. Bank executives call me the devil. People in power see me as their god, and even top military officers and top contractors will give their lives to protect me. Yet on this bright, beautiful morning, I ended up shot by a newspaper salesman. It's a long story.
I was not born cross. My real name is Cyprian. Cyprian Idris. In all that I do in business, no one ever crosses me. The few that did ended up dead with their bodies not found. Basically, anyone that cross or double crosses me ends up dead. Everyone knows, and everyone I know calls me cross. The name stuck ever since. What do I do for a living? And how I make my money? Well, this is what I do. Which of the lines? Line two. Yeah, hello Joshua. How are you today? Hold on a second, please. I'd like to have this conversation in private. You say? Okay, okay. Transfer official or informal? Uh, the account name belongs to the, there's the governor's son. Uh, the governor himself, the signature, I think it's personal account. Therefore, it's, it's not a legitimate transfer transaction. Excellent. Now Joshua, I need all the account details, such as the account name, the account number, the account balance, dates of transfer, and all other details of transfer. And also, I need to know the bank that was used in transferring the money out from here, all in black and white. I will send that um, two parts, 30 minutes after my commission of $200,000 will be paid into my account. Deal. Confirm the deposit of $200,000 in your account in two hours. Excellent job, Joshua. Talk to you later. Yeah, James. I'd like you to transfer $200,000 into Joshua's account. Go on it right away. Jesus there? at the reception, waiting to see you, sir. In regards to what? He says it's an official business that requires your personal attention. Personal attention? 
Okay, okay. Let him in, let him in. Good day, sir. You're welcome. How do you do? Fine. How is it? Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. You can't smoke in here. Why not? Huh? When His Excellency came here the last time, Senator Gidado Usman, where did he smoke? I beg your pardon. Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know what I'm talking about now, don't you? Huh? We smoke the same. We smoke the same cigar. When he came here the last time, you asked him not to smoke? I doubt not. Mm. I have no idea of what you are talking about. So, how may I help you? You see, it's the other way around, actually. It's how may I help you? You're the one going to jail, not me. Is this a joke? <laughs> With 20 million dollars transferred from your bank into a bank in Monaco in France for a man serving the public, I sincerely do not think that's a joke, Mr. Austin. I just don't know where you got this information from. But let me just... Everything the central bank needs to throw you into jail and shut down this entire bank. Everything the court needs to impeach the governor and sentence him to jail for stealing, fraud and embezzlement is right there in that file. How did you get this? <laughs> Stupid question. Think of what will happen if my demands are not made in three days. Here. That's an account number. I want 10% of that money paid into that account from the governor. You and the governor work it out. And I promise you, you will never hear from me again until you guys make another illegal transfer. Gentlemen, you have no idea who you are toying with. I know your type. You can never blackmail the governor and I. Excellent. I like your confidence, Mr. Austin. I hope you'll be able to explain all that to the Economic and Financial Crime and Commission and also to the Central Bank. Build your case, Mr. Austin, because you will need it. I am about to shut down this bank if my demands are not met in three days. Have a nice day. Hello? Yes. Could you please put me through to His Excellency? Yes. Austin from Sun Gold Bank. Tell him it's very urgent, very urgent. Your Excellency, sir. Yes, Austin, Austin, sir. There's a problem, sir. Yes, I must see you. In fact, I'm taking the next available flight. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Chief Protocol Officer. Yes. I read the drivers and other securities. I have to leave for the airport right now. Yeah, thank you. That's my business. I made money. The staff and men are well paid. They see me as a god. You have no idea the kind of people I have on my blackmail list. 
ministers, governors, contractors, and so on. I have all the information they would give their lives to protect. Everything happens my way. Those that have made attempts to kill me ends up dead because my security network is unparalleled. Don Diggity. The Diggity himself, the man of the moment. It's me. I appreciate what you're doing for me, okay? You're the boss. You have my loyalty any day, anywhere, and anytime. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Don. Something or other. Make sure you don't spend this money on me. Yes, sir. Hmm? Tell him Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'll be back, sir. Mr. Bassett, yes, sir. how much is the basic salary? About 5,000 euros, sir. 5,000 euros. Here is half a million for all your contribution to this effort. I appreciate it very much. Use it wisely. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it, sir. Maureen, I'll go. Maureen, how much this house? 10,000 euros. It's 300,000. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Before months, which you? The former, my beautiful lady. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, sir. Rosia Eke. Rosia. The man who likes money so much. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Use it well. I'm good for some. You're welcome. And Posh, come on. Mrs. Ndago. I understand that most married women like you, they have a way of hiding their money from their husband. Make sure you share this one with your husband. Okay? Thank you. Now, every one of you, I want to thank you so very much for your contribution towards this organization so far so good you've been doing perfectly well and I appreciate it. I'm organizing a little get together for every one of you at the big house club pub tonight okay you can come with your friends your loved ones your boyfriends your girlfriends your husbands and wives okay everything on the house everything is on me you have nothing to worry about congratulations guys Thank you, sir. And congratulations, gentlemen and ladies. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The dog is... Look for this for us. We're going to buy the dog. Of course, I tell you, this is a money-making venture. You can't be wrong in such an investment. It's a lifetime investment with minimal capital, an investment of about just 400 million. And the most important part of this is that within two years, you have your money back in the bank. I'm not that sort of businessman, Henry. Bruce, you don't need to be a particular sort of businessman as long as good profit is concerned. I don't like hotel business. I wouldn't have time to run it. You don't need to. All you do is employ people to run it for you, that's all. Cross, we've been close friends for a long time now. And you've made money for us. So I want to see you invest into something legit. Be a legitimate businessman. So the way you talk, people listen. One thing you don't understand, Henry, 
is that legit business does not pay in this country. You think so? I know so. It's the survival of the fittest. Mm, somehow. Now you tell me. If hotel business is such a big money making venture, why would this guy want to sell this one off? Oh no. The man is relocating. He's relocating to New York. He wants to go to New York and open up a small hotel. That's all. Okay. You want to buy the hotel, right? Sure. Okay. Then let's buy it. And now you're talking, Cross. I promise you, you won't regret it, okay? Cross, stop looking at that girl. She's not your type. How would you know that? Do you know her? I know her. She's a pro. She's been places. Been around money bags that drop in out of town. She's all for the money. So forget about it. Let's go see the owners of this hotel. They're waiting for us for the meeting. You know what, Henry? Just go ahead and secure the deal, okay? All right. I'll do that. I beg your pardon. Sit down, my friend. I do not. I said sit down. I do not sit down. Are you good? How do you think you are? What do you take me for? It's puppet. I do as I please. Do you understand? I do what I want. You don't even know what you want. Have you forgotten what you wear before I picked you up? Eh. I've not forgotten your allergy. And I also haven't forgotten how you begged me for weeks on end, on your knees. Revolted against your wife just to have me in your bed. Still, look at you shamelessly. Can't you pick it up for a minute? Ellen, how dare you insult me? Do you know what I'm capable of doing to you? You silly thief. Me. In fact, you're leaving. Me. Silly thief. What? Excuse me. Let's see what you're capable of doing to someone like me. You're old fool. Hey! Hey! There and then, my heart went for her. She has guts. She has confidence in herself, and she's not afraid. To me, that's how any woman that can catch my emotional attention should be. And she did. There is no question about it. A relationship started. I fell for her. And everything else fell with me. I'm on my way out. I need to wait till tomorrow. No, you can't wait till tomorrow. It's important. Ah. Listen, I have a date with Helen. Huh? And I have to be there. So let me wait till tomorrow. I'm talking to you and I'm talking about Helen. She's taking most of your time. And it's not good for business. I love her, Henry. <laughs> okay? I love her very much. So, let me wait till tomorrow. Helen of all people. Cross, are you going out of your mind? Helen. Cross, we need to talk business. Tomorrow, Henry. Tomorrow.
I'm honored. I feel like I've known you for ages. Seriously, I've gotten so used to your calls. I can't go to bed except I hear you say goodnight. That's really nice to know. And you know what? Every minute and every moment I spend with you, you deserve it. And speaking of time, I must say I keep expecting some chick to, you know, pop out from somewhere and shoot me. <laughs> Why would anyone do that? Well, because, you know, her man is spending too much time with me. Of course. <laughs> no, there is no one. What do you mean there is no one? Like, there's no one in town or... There is no one at all, and you expect me to believe that. You know, there are a few things you'll have to learn to know about me pretty soon, okay? Yeah, I've met a few women. I can't deny that I've not met a few women in my life. I've known a few women in my life, but the truth is I don't know if I really knew them or something. But with you, it's different. It goes, it goes deeper with you, you know? Somehow you, you command my respect and admiration. Yeah, you said something about an incident in a restaurant. I don't quite remember, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when the magic happened. Um, listen. I have something for you, but before I give you that stuff, I wouldn't like you to take an offense because, well, I'd, I'll just give it to you. Listen, I wouldn't like you to see it the other way. Don't think I'm trying to like buy you over. Wait, wait. Okay. You realize you just gave me a check of five hundred thousand? Yes, I, I would like you to get some clothes <laughs> so we can go out to dinner sometime again. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you, you're so sweet, thanks. It's my pleasure, absolutely. So would you like to have a sit while I get you a drink of something? No, thank you. I'll just be a perfect gentleman and be on my way. Well, thank you for everything. I had fun. It's my pleasure.
when are we doing it? You've been with him all day. Ah, oh, come on, sweetie. Don't be jealous. You know I love you. And no matter what, I belong to you. If you love me, then keep your mind on business. Look, honey, I, I need some money to start off the contract I told you about last week. Steve, you know you gamble too much. I'm sorry to say, but yes, you do. That was then. I promise it's not going to happen again. I crossed my heart. It's never going to happen again. This time is for me. Real good business for you and I. Well, Cross gave me a check of 500,000 naira. Wow. I'll pay 400 into your account when I cash it tomorrow. That's fine. I love you, baby. I love you too. Have you eaten? I'm sure you must be hungry. Let me just pick something up. Okay? All right. I'll be waiting for you here. God damn it. Four hundred thousand. Close. I got a message from the Astro Machine. But you sounded worried. Anything the matter? Some idiot trying to shoot me at the restaurant this night. What? What happened? What happened is not important. What's important is that when things like that happen to me, you should have my back covered. How am I supposed to have your back covered? When all you think and do these days is Helen. You ignore business because of her. You even flaunt your security because of Helen. How am I supposed to have your back covered? For the very first time in my life, Henry. I fall in love with a woman, and you cannot even keep the crew together. Keep the crew together, you say? Keep the crew together. When I don't even know your programs, Cross. I can't even say whom you are again. Cross, please, leave this woman alone. Leave this woman alone. Let her go. There are better women out there. Let her go. I should leave her alone? Yes. You're asking me to leave her alone? How many times am I going to tell you, Henry, that I love this woman? I love her! Uh-huh. And I am going to marry her. What? Cross, are you going not? Cross, this woman belongs to the public. Let me tell you, I can fill a notebook with the names of men she has slept with. So what is your point? My point is that she is a prostitute and not good for you. Henry, what is your definition of a prostitute? Simple. Cross, she sleeps with men for money. And it's a known fact, I can tell you. It's a known fact. She sleeps with men. You know what, let me tell you something, Henry. There are women out there, lots of women, all right? And they claim to be decent. They go around, they hop from one man to the other, Hop from one bed to the other, mm -hmm. from one office to the other, from one hotel to the other. And they make all these men feel as if they are the only ones in their lives. But there are other women who own up and say, yes, I am a professional sex worker. They don't claim to be decent because they are not, they are no hypocrites. So you tell me, what is your point? Because in the end, on their wedding day, no woman is a virgin. So tell me, what is the difference? They're all the same. Listen, I know as an old friend you're trying to protect me and my interest. I understand. But I also want you to understand that I love this woman. I love Helen. Okay. Okay, no problem. If that's the way you see it, no problem. 
But there's a message from my contact from Switzerland. He said that the minister just moved some money to a Swiss account. And Joshua said he will be sending in the details in your mail tomorrow. Very well then. I'll take care of that. But in the meantime, like I said earlier, some punk tried to smoke my ass at the restaurant tonight. I want security biffed up. I want that bastard found. Okay, I'll talk with the boys. I'll talk with the boys. So, good night, Chris. Good night, Henry. We should try and find out the project the Minister of Aviation is handling and the people he's doing the project with, that is our uh, contractors, so that we can send our information to him. Understood. I'll do it later. Joshua said now he needs the information so that he can track the owners of the accounts the money moved into. I can't do it now. I already have an appointment with Helen. She's supposed to meet me at my place now. Do I come along with you? Or do I call on the boys? It's my house, Henry. It's safe. Besides, Kingsley's already at the gate. But, Gross, Gross, this one is important. You should put your mind on the job. And Joshua wants you to speed it up. Joshua wants me to speed it up, right? <laughs> you worry too much, Henry. Have I ever slept over any job before? No, that's not what I'm saying, Gross. But this particular job, Joshua wants it done fast. Get yourself a beer and lock my office. something I would like to talk to you about. Wait, right. is there a problem? Not really. You will agree with me that um, we're not getting any younger. Yes, we go out, we wine and dine together and have a wonderful time together. But you see, There comes a time in a man's life when you get tired of all these things and you want to settle down. Settle down? <laughs> you sound like a priest. I could sound better. Yeah. Helen. Will you marry me? What are you trying to do? 
tying me down? I'm serious, Helen. I want to settle down. I want to have kids. I want to plan the rest of my life with my family and I want to settle down with you. Cross, I'm not the marriage kind. Besides, I don't think you know me well enough to want to get married to me. True. Very true. I might not know you very much. But one thing I do know is that I love you. I love you very much. And I want to marry you. I, I don't think I feel the same way you do. I mean, I don't think I love you enough to want to marry you. Don't get me wrong, I like you very much. But marriage is a different ballgame entirely, and I don't think I'm the sort. Mm. I understand. I mean, what is... What is this thing we call love, anyway? It's, I see it as mutual respect for one another, devotion and caring for one another. Helen, let's lay a foundation first, please. And I know the love will grow from there. Please, give me a chance. What if it doesn't work? I know it will work. I'll be a good father. I promise to make you happy. I promise to give you a wonderful life. Okay? I know someday you would look back and you would thank God for this day. You don't know how much you mean to me, Helen. You don't know how much. You mean so much to me. Please, just give me a chance. Well, you haven't answered my question. What if it doesn't work? Sunshine, you're my rainbow. Now the world makes meaning. Please don't ever leave me. All I have, I give to you. You are beautiful. You're the one who makes my heart rejoice. And I love you. You are beautiful, I'll do anything to be in love, and I love you. Extraordinary lady, all I ever wanted, all I ever hoped for. You brighten up my life, you're my sunshine, you're my rainbow. Now the world makes me.
your feelings but the truth is I miss you I miss you so much I know I know it's just that you know this is like kind of a whole new level for me so I'm trying to see if I could make it work but look I promise I will never ever forget you you don't love me anymore, do you? I love you. Honey, you know I love you. I've loved you ever since I was a teenager. You know that. I love you too, honey. Oh. Honey. Listen to me. Listen, that guy is a very rich guy. Okay? And I need you. I need your help now to be able to set up the company I told you about, okay? I hope I can count on you. Look, I, I have to go. Um, um, I'll call you again. So, okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Something the matter? Are you alright? I'm fine. Everything is fine. Listen, Helen. I would like you to forget about your past. Okay? Those you knew in the past. Your friends and all of them. You're married now. This is a new dawn for you. And I promise you, I will make you happy. Come rain, come shine. I will make you happy, because I love you. I love you very much. OK? Would you like something to drink? this lovely recipe and drink like watermelon and vodka. Have you ever tried that? I try to make me feel better or worse. Mm. Honey, I thought you were just talking to somebody. Oh yes, a friend of mine called me off phone. Okay. Smoke you up at the restaurant. 
It's now in our net. Are you serious? Why not? Where is he? How did you do that? I asked the guys to stay on the ground to find out if there's any gunman out on a contract. So after a while, his identity was revealed. And he snapped. He's right now in our net. <laughs> I want to see him. By the way. So much pain. Why wouldn't you talk? You probably end up dying. You just might end up dead, man. Don't you know? So, why are you holding back? Why don't you just spill it out? Listen, I'm not a violent man. We all know that. Of course. But I gotta do what I gotta do. Now, why are you doing this to yourself? Speak. Who sent you? Huh? You think the guy cares if you die or if you're dead or alive? He doesn't care. So why protect him? Listen. Either way, we'll end up catching this guy and we'll end up killing him. Sure. Um... So you're just protecting him for nothing. Why would you protect someone who we will end up catching and killing in the end. <laughs> Apparently the guy has made up his mind to die. Shoot him five times. <gasps> it was nice knowing you, Paul. Oh, all right, all right. I'm ready to talk. talk. Yeah, talk. Fast. He sent me. Who sent you? Who sent you before I bust your brain? Hey, who paid you? Who paid you? Who paid you? Gerard Okanda. Gerard? Cross. Gerard that works with Cooper Incorporated. Cross Gerard. The jeweler that works with Cooper Incorporated. If it's from Cooper Incorporated, then that means Chief Daniel sent them to do the contract. Yes. So, what are we going to do? Chief Daniel has just touched the tail of a lion. It's time for him to know the lion is dead or alive. Gerard and Chief Daniel. <laughs>
Is this the Gerald? Yes, Mr. Cross. This is Gerald. Ah. Hi, Gerald. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you're really shocked seeing me, isn't it? After receiving payment from someone to hire a gunman to kill me, isn't it? I swear I didn't know it was you. Oh, you didn't know it was me? A pity. <laughs> that was a terrible mistake, Joel. I mean, if your so-called gunman had succeeded, it would have been good for you, but unfortunately he didn't. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. Mm. Sorry? I shouldn't kill you. Are you really sorry for what you did to me? Honestly, I'm sorry. Very well, I wouldn't kill you. But my men will. Chief Daniels. Ah, good day, sir. How are you today, Chief? I'm yeah, fine, thank you. I have a little message from Mr. Cross for you. Oh, Mr. Cross. What did he say? Oh, have it, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> I have a visitor waiting to see you. Visitor? Yes, sir. From where and what for? He says it's business in regards to the domiciliary account and fund transfer. Then refer him to the operations or the customer care units immediately. I did, sir, but he insisted on seeing you. He insisted on seeing me? Yes, sir. Okay, let him in, let him in. Of course, sir. And um, you're sure that the old documents here are intact? Yes, sir, they yeah. are. Okay. Hello, sir. How's your wife and family? Very well, sir. Pleased to see them. I understand you came to make inquiry concerning a domiciliary account for transfer from the bank. Exactly. But first, I want to commend your bank. Your bank is doing so well. And you being the chief operations of uh, fund transfer and foreign exchange, you're doing very well likewise. Oh, thank you very much. Um, let's go straight to business. Now, if I may ask, how can I help you? <laughs> you know, that question makes me laugh. It sort of like fascinates me. 
It's more like, how can I help you? I'm here to help you, you know? But the choice is all yours, though. Great to hear that. Um, but really, I, I don't have an idea what you are talking about. Let me just say this. Let's say you're about to lose your job. You're going to jail. And you're going to lose everything that you've ever worked for. All your life. All your property. Everything. Capiche? <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke or what? As you can see. I am a very busy man. Of course you are, Mr. Roberts. But not too busy to transfer the sum of four million dollars into the account, the foreign account of uh, the Minister of Power and Steel, right? <laughs> My friend, who are you? Does this explain who you are? <laughs> the bank name? The bank account? Account name and number? Details of transfer? Date and time? Transferring? Recipients of banks and signatories? <laughs> I must say, Mr. Roberts, the Central Bank and the Economic and Financial Commission Crime Commission will be very proud of you. Like I said earlier, how is your wife and family? They're fine. And like I said earlier, who are you? I'm your God. Your worst nightmare. Listen, Mr. Roberts, I have enough information to put you down the drain. All your life, everything you've ever worked for, your career is going down the drain if that information gets to the right quarters. Listen, my friend, you can go ahead and do anything. You can do your worst, because I do not dine with extensionists like you. Now, if you don't mind, take your leave. I said get out! Very well then, Mr. Roberts. My regards to the Honorable Minister as he reads the morning papers tomorrow. Have a nice day. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. My friend, what do you want? And how did you get this? You know what? Let's just concern ourselves with your first question. Now I'm aware that uh, this money will be transferred into four different accounts. A process which of course you've already initiated. Now, I'm asking for $500,000. Otherwise I blow the lead. $500,000? Hear yourself talk? I mean, this is ridiculous. That's too much. I do not negotiate, Mr. Roberts. I name my price. You either take it or you leave. Is that understood? Now, inclusive in that file right in front of you is an account in France. The money better be there by Monday. And one more thing. Don't let me come back here the second time. My regards to your family. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The Honorable Minister has to be aware of this. 
No, I can't hear this all alone. Okay. Yeah, hello. Yes. Please, um, could you put me on to the Honorable Minister of Power and State? Yes, my name is Robert from the Landmark Intercontinental Bank. Yes. Yeah, this is very, very urgent, please. Close your eyes. No, just close your eyes. I'm not playing with you. I don't want the cat out of the bag here, you know. Okay, so we're here. I want you to gradually open your eyes. I said gradually, I didn't say. The sun is shining brighter. Wow! Oh my god, this is going Yeah, go to play. Sweetheart, these must have got to watch you. Yeah, you can say that again. Oh. Thank you. You're so sweet. Listen. I want you to understand something. You see all this thing? You see all this stuff? It doesn't mean a thing. It really doesn't matter. What matters to me is trust. So I want to know if it's possible for me to trust you, not just with my money, but with my life. So I ask you, Helen, can I trust you? Can I really trust you with my life? Yes. Yes, you can. See, um, there's something very important I'd like to talk to you about concerning my line of business. Anything can happen. What's wrong? Are you in trouble? Well, no man can avoid troubles in business. It's inevitable. They must come. But when it does come, I want to be sure that you, you have access to enough cash to take care of things. So, I will take you to my bank tomorrow and I'll make you a signatory to my account for easy access, of course. And thereafter, we'll travel to Europe together, you and I, and we'll do the same in Europe to all my other accounts there. Do you understand? Now, you see, Helen, it's imperative that I know I trust you. She's your wife. No problem with that. But Cross, you giving her access to your bank accounts, home and abroad? That won't beat my imagination, Cross. It beats my imagination. Henry. Cross. Helen is my wife. I know. I have to teach her to trust. First of all, by trusting her. Cross, there's nothing wrong with you. Trusting your wife. But what I'm saying is the way you're going about it is out of the ordinary. Why is that? Cross, let me tell you. A lot of people I know do not trust their wives this way. No, never. 
You never intended getting married in the first place. You said you were married when you quit the game. But now you've broken the rules, you've gotten married, not only getting married, you're not falling head over here with the love. Cross, check it yourself. Like I said, Henry, Helen is my wife. We are one body and soul. I trust her, and I am perfectly comfortable with that. Okay. Problem. If you say so, suit yourself. So, did you make a time to see Joshua this time you are abroad? Oh, yes. How is he doing? He's doing perfectly well. He's making a lot of money from us. And he's making sure he's crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Quit smoking. Why? You never complained before. Well, yes, that's true. That's because now you're a married woman. And that's a part of your life you really need to stop. At least for me. But you smoke. You want me to stop? I'll stop. Okay, fine. I'll try. Good girl. Sweetheart. Yes, honey. I need some money. Some money? Yeah. And what do you want to do with some money? It's personal. I, I need about... Three million.
three million. What is it you want to do with three million? Like I said, it's personal. Yeah, so, are you giving it to me or not? Well, you know, sweetie, I can't refuse you anything, but three million is not a piece of bread. I really need to know, I would love to know what it is you want to do with three million. But what, you're going to make me beg now? Hmm? All my life, I never had to beg for money. As a single woman, I took care of things myself. And what now, as your wife, I have to beg you for money. Please. As your husband, Helen, at least I need to know what it is you want to do with three million. We're not talking of 30,000 or 300,000 here, you know. In this game of mine, only the fittest survive. If you mean to stay on top, and if you mean to stay alive. Every man has his price, and every man has a price to pay. If you've got something to hide, unlikely you'll see another day. Think deeper, longer, harder than anyone else. Keep your wits about you. The stakes are high, the reward is great, but anything can happen to you. One thing is sure, wherever you are and wherever you go, when you have arrived, your heart will know. Double cross lies, deceit, are to be expected. Deal with it decisively. Only then are you protected. You mustn't let anyone get the best of you. No, not at all. To that own self be true. Intelligent one, checkmate every time. A professional, no amateur. Your dignity on the line. All it takes and is required. A stout heart, a sharp mind, that's fire. Very smart man, Steve. On few occasions have I noticed your phone calls to my wife, extorting money from her. That's pretty smart. You know she's my wife, don't you? And you know me. Well, let's just say, you know, Kotsu demands that I still say my name. 
My name is Cross. And you don't just call me Cross because I cross my legs always. You know what? When I'm talking to you, Steve, you look at me. That's better. You know what? Next time, if you must see my wife, I suggest you come with a pistol. Because that's the only way you stand a chance. Get out. Disappoint me so. Several occasions have I asked you if I could trust you. And you say, yes, yes, yes. And now you steal my money and give it to your lousy boyfriends? Parents will be really proud of you, you know. Come with me, I have something to show you. this nonsense is all about. Huh? He's only a friend. Okay, and I was only helping him out. You were helping him out? By sleeping with him and giving him my money? Are you nuts? I am not sleeping with him. And he's just my friend and you have no right to stop me from seeing my friends, okay? I lost my freedom before. I already told you, this whole marriage thing is not my thing, no. So what are you telling me now? What, what are you trying to say? You want out of this marriage because, because of that gigolo? Are you all right? Listen here, let me tell you this. Yes, I love you. But you don't know me. I'll pretend like this never happened. Next time, be sure to have a coffin on the side. Because one of us is going to need it. Sweetie, how are you today? How long are you going to continue like this, Helen? How long? How long are you going to continue behaving like a stranger in your own home? 
So as long as you have your men watching my every move like I'm some fugitive. For as long as you stop me from seeing my own friends. What friends are we talking about here? Steve? You're a married woman, Helen. And I'm your husband. How long will you continue to shy away from your matrimonial obligations because of that man, Steve? Steve is just a friend. I'm not sleeping with Steve. How am I supposed to know that? Tell me. How? When I married you, everything about your past with Steve should have come to an end, no matter who he is. How do you just forget a friend you have known for 16 years? Okay, let's not talk about Steve. How about my other friends? Ever since they heard your attempt to murder Steve, they stopped coming here to visit me. I can't go out without seeking your permission. And even when I do, not without Henry and his men on my tail. That is not the life I want to live. You should be ashamed of yourself, Helen. Getting hysterical with your husband because of that idiot called Steve. This is not about Steve Cross. Don't you get it? This is about me. It's about my life. I feel like a prisoner in this house and I don't like it. I want my freedom. I give you everything, Helen. I give you total trust. I give you access to everything that is mine. Now that is freedom. If your idea of freedom is giving my money out to pimps, then lie down and sleep! I had to come see you. Anything the matter? I'm worried. You don't worry, you know. <laughs> After that incident. But Helen, you know, Cross loves you so much. What are you doing with that tramp? I've known Steve for a very long time. I told Cross about him before we got married. You did? Even if you did, you know Cross is not that kind of a guy that could be messed with. Cross loves his marriage with you. And moreover, he trusts you, which is very rare. Helen, what's the problem? Come on, come on, Helen, get yourself together, okay? Get yourself together. He had been beating you in the house, isn't it? Don't worry. Don't worry, don't I don't worry. know which life I prefer. Is this or the one I had before? Oh, come off it. Helen, let me tell you, you're a blessed woman with cross. Better soon you have his baby and everything will be okay, alright? But I didn't sleep with Steve and Cross won't believe me. Let me tell you, Helen, the most important thing is that Cross loves you. That's what matters. Hmm? Can I have a drink? Oh, uh, no, 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 Helen. Cross really wants you to stop smoking. Hmm? He wants you to stop smoking. That's what drink? No, you have some drink, okay? Let me get you some drink.
You're already spooky. Yeah, the moon's too smoke. Here's a drink. Are you alright? This off. I don't want to reek of alcohol. Where's the bathroom? Where is it? The bathroom. Oh, take that door there. And you go to your left. Since I was home alone, I thought I'd have a little party of my own. Would you like to join me? You know what? Just go inside, okay? Please. Please. He's rejecting me. <laughs> um, sister, um... I'm really sorry about this, okay? My wife has not been feeling too good lately, but um, everything is fine. See, Brain, I don't really understand what you're doing with this girl. Is this marriage or friendship? How can I want be drinking and smoking like a man? It's eh? not what you... I thought I told you to stay inside. I'm really sorry about this. I'm sorry for you too, Cyprian. Cross. Cross, this is not good. You need to ease up on Helen. What do you mean, ease up on her? She's the one that needs to ease up on herself. She's acting up like this because I forbid her going out or seeing anyone. Uh, but you're being too harsh, if you ask me. I'm being harsh. Listen, she's my wife. I know her better than anybody. Okay? Freedom intoxicates her. Remember what happened the last time? But how long are you going to keep her like this? How long are you going to keep her like this? It will only make things worse. Just allow her a little freedom. You know, so she will get tired and come back begging, you know. You? You my best friend? Telling me to leave my wife to go about seeing whoever she pleases? Cross, that is not what I mean. That is not what I mean. But okay, I promise you, I'll watch her for you. I'll watch her. Anybody that comes around her is as good as dead. You know I don't make empty threats. But just give her a little freedom. I know. She will soon get tired and come back back. Forget about her. Forget about that. She will change. Yes. He instructed me to detail one of the boys. 
to monitor you 24 hours who you see and where you go. So, what are you going to? I am meeting with Steve. What? Helen, are you crazy? I am going to meet with Steve. I really don't care what Cross does about it. In fact, I want his boys to report to him because I want to get a divorce. Helen, Helen, let me tell you, you don't have to be rational on this. Now, turn that vehicle and come back home. Now. Listen, um, Henry, I really need to see you later in the day, okay? I need to talk to you. I have a deal. I promise it's going to pay off. But for now, I will see Steve. Who were you talking to on the phone? Yeah, one, one of the boys. Yeah. He called and uh, said uh, that Helen is at a hotel with Steve. Helen? Yes. So, Cross, I know what Helen is doing is not good. But you yourself have to bear in mind that no matter how you cage her or how you torture her, whenever she comes out, she will still do what she wants to do. Henry. That is my wife in some hotel with another man. I know. Maybe it's time you divorce her. After all, you shouldn't have married her in the first place. I want out of this marriage cross. I want a divorce. You don't know what you want. I know what I want. And I know what I'm going to get. And that is a divorce. This whole marriage thing is not my style. And remember, you promised that if things didn't work out between us, I could go. So who will things work out between you and Steve? Is that who you went to see at the hotel today? From this moment, I cease to explain myself to you, Cross. You will stand when I speak to you. Whenever you walk out on me. Is that understood? Get your hands off me! You... Ah! Ah! I will not let this happen. I won't let it happen. Have you heard me? What do you think? I'm a fool? Do you think I'm an idiot? I will let your stupidity ruin my marriage or what? I warned you about Steve, didn't I? Helen? Helen! Come back here! I'm 
the dawn. I'm the dawn, I'm the one, I'm the dawn. Cause I'm the dawn, I'm the one, I'm the dawn. You don't have to worry. Cross. Cross, we need to see Kevin right away. Joshua called from France. Understood. Cross, anything the matter? You've been sucking all day. Nothing is the matter, I'm fine. Cross, I'm too old a friend to be deceived. Cross, you've been sitting here all day smoking. Not talking to anybody and you're telling me that everything is okay. Tell me, Cross, what is the matter? Tell me, what is it? It's Helen. And what about her? She left the home since yesterday. And she's nowhere to be found. I don't know where she is. What? She left home without telling you where she was going to? Yes. She wants a divorce, and I'm not letting her. Cross, I believe you knew what you were going into when you decided to marry Helen against my advice. And all I can say is, do not let your emotions cloud your thinking. We have delicate business we run. Failure in any way could cost us our lives. I am not a type to walk away from battles. And where are you going to? We have a job to do tonight. Don't worry about the jobs, I'll do it in my own time. I'm going to look for Helen. Circulate all your men. I want all eyes out there looking for her. That's not when I'm looking for you. So when are you going home? Home to who? Cross. I've never been in love with him and he knew it. So I'm going ahead with the divorce. But he won't let you. It won't be long before others for the elimination of that Steve of yours. The guy is sitting on a time bomb, but you know that. That's why I need your help. Look, Cross is worth over $25 million. If I get a divorce, half of that money belongs to me. 
But you know he won't lie to you. No matter how you try. Even if you go to court, he has a serious case of infidelity against him. And that's where you come in. And what are you talking about? I want Cross dead. What? You will kill Cross for me. Are you going out of your mind? Are you going mad? What are you asking me to do? I am the sole signatory to his accounts. If he dies, I get to own everything. How much are you worth, Henry? What, a couple of millions in Naira? How does um, five million dollars sound to you? Mm, five million dollars? So you asking me to kill a friend I've known for over 20 years because of money? Oh, five million dollars. Just relax, please. I mean, everybody gets to die someday. It's only a matter of time. If Cross dies now, you will be five million dollars richer. Fine, seven, seven. I'll make it seven. If Cross dies later, I will own everything. And you'll be left with nothing. So really, the trust is entirely yours. Hmm? This is business. Businessman at heart. You've been loyal to Cross for so long. You get to do his dirty work. But what do you get? Peanuts. When he is left with the lion's share. And I don't think that's fair. If he dies now, you'll be seven million dollars richer. And I swear you won't need to work for anybody your entire life. Give me the cigarette. Give me the cigarette.
Yes, I'm coming. Sir, there is one Mr. Paul waiting to see you. Oh, yes. ask him in. I've been wanting to see that boy long before now. Yes, come in. Are you? I paid you well for an information. Up to now, I've not gotten not even one information from you. I can't come, sir, when I have nothing to give you. You can't come when there's nothing to give me? So now that you're here, what do you have for you? Not quite, sir. I have something for you. And what is this? In other words, I have been wasting my valuable money on you because I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these photographs. The lady is cross wife and the man, cross best friend, assistant, chief security officer and head hitman. Hmm. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that the woman in this photograph is cross wife? And she's been having a secret affair with his friend? If Cross should lay his hands on those pictures, in other words, you've gotten what you want. <laughs> Smart dog. Cross is in trouble. He is. Now, nobody must know about this. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. And keep in touch. Oh. I will, sir. That will be off now. Thank you, sir.
was delivered by a mirror on us, sir. Is that so? Where is she? I said where is she? Are you harboring her in your house? Is she somewhere in this house? I need to know where she is, Henry! Cross. I will tell her to come see you. She will come and see you, Cross, please. She will come and see you. Cross, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay, I'm very sorry. Is that all you have to say? Is that all you have to say to a broken-hearted friend after sleeping with his wife? Henry? We're in the middle of a crisis here. You know how much I value my marriage and it's about hitting the rocks. And all you can say to me is you are sorry? You slept with my unborn children. 
When you slept with my wife, you slept with my entire family. I trusted you, Henry. But you betrayed me. I still want to see her. Where did this come from? Did Cross give me this? How did he get this? Who did he hire to do this? Who? I don't know. I don't know. Obviously not any of our men. Helen, there's no time. You know what? We need to move immediately. Cross asked to see you. And immediately he sees you, I'll be there the next day. I am going the next day. Well, that's the more reason you need to kill him fast. A dead man can't hurt you, Henry. Besides, I cannot withdraw the entire money except I have his death certificates in my hands. I can't get close to Cross. I can't near him from now on. And I can't send any of my men. And you can do it yourself. If you try it, the police will bust it. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Well, we, we have to find another way because Cross must die, okay? I need to get some documents from that house and I can't go there except he is dead. Well, what? Are you going to do it or not? Wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking. Wait. You know what? I have an idea. Hmm? I have an idea. Don't worry. I have an idea. I know what to do. See that old girlfriend of yours last night. Yeah.
Good and bad news. Yeah, it was on the daily today. Uh, somebody just died this morning. He died. And died. it's you. the chest just like you told me to. That's good, that's good. Why? Good. Did you hear the gunshot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pay you good, okay? Yeah, man. It's about to make money two million now. Okay. But you need to leave this country this night. You'll cross over to a neighboring country. I've got my passport already. Okay, you have your passport? Yeah, man. That's good. But I better pay you up now. Better pay you up now. Mm, go to my You see a cellophane bag containing two million now. You take it, it's for you. Well, left, right. Let's go in. Everything is in control. What is it you're facing? Who is it you're chasing on the west side? Cause I'm the done, I'm the one, I'm the dumb. Cause I'm the dumb, I'm the one, I'm the dumb. Cause I'm the dumb, I'm the one, I'm the dumb. Cause I'm the dumb, I'm the one, I'm the dumb.
a very big London. Sending the boy to do a man's job. All these years we've lived together. Apparently you do not know that I wear the full vest. <laughs> How unfortunate. You should have told the boy you hired to shoot me in the head. Hey, Harry. Don't even try. I'll keep your hands where my eyes can see it. Come on. Let me remind you once again, just in case you've forgotten, why they call me cross. Call me cross because those that try to cross me or double cross me end up dead. You see, I won't kill you. It'll be too belittling for me. You know why? Because I do not betray my friends. Neither do I kill my friends. Get out of my house. Go on the way out. Come on. Out. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, Helen. Helen, get inside. Thank God you guys are here. Please take me out of this place. Take me out of this place. I hope you're wearing a bulletproof. What do you mean? Because I'm going to shoot you. You must really hate me so bad as to conspire with my friend, my best friend, to kill me after sleeping with him. I gave you my world, Helen. I gave you my love. And most of all, I gave you my trust. But that wasn't good enough for you. You wanted something else. Something you feel I couldn't give to you. I don't know what it is you're looking for out there, Helen, but whatever it is, 
keeps you happy. You've always wanted me to let you go. You're free to go. Go live your life with Steve. That's what you've always wanted. Go, Helen. You know I hate to always repeat myself. Helen, the file. signature to his account that is one over 25 million dollars. My plans failed. I don't understand. But you said you, you, you contacted someone to kill him. He failed to. Oh my God. And now Cross has all the documents in his possession and I'm out of the marriage. Look at the bright side. Now, now we can start our lives all over again. Now we have each other. Start which life? Come on, baby, there is no life without money. Can't you understand that? Come on, it's not that bad. At least let's just thank God that I paid in some money to your account. We can take that and leave this country now that it's still safe. What money are you talking about? Ten million naira. For Christ's sake, what is ten million naira compared to the kind of money you're talking about? Twenty-five billion dollars. Oh come on. Ten million naira is still money, okay? Unless you have spent the money. Wait, have you spent the money? What, Steve? What did you do with ten million naira? And then I've been using that money to take care of myself and my family. What family? Helen, I am married. You're joking. Sorry, I'm not. You're married? Oh. Oh,
looking for you. You though. again? What do you want? Hey, yo, let him go. There will be no sunshine if it wasn't for rain. There will be no joy if it wasn't for pain. Both sides of life have tasted. Now here I am, feeling wasted. In this game, only a fool lets his emotion be clouds his vision. That's what I did. Glad I'm still alive, hoping never to make the same mistake. That is my story. My name is Cross. The sun is shining brighter. Things are moving faster on the west side. Here is where I belong. The trees are getting greener The birds are flying higher On the west side